10-day contract with the parent club, the Indiana Pacers. So Alex Poitras jumps it up against Ike Anabogu, uh, Bogu, and Matt Ants win the tip. We are underway with the rebound. Omari Johnson, fourth all-time in G League three-pointers made. Here's Edmund, uh, Edmund Sumner for three, and he got it. As John Gillen can't decide what to do. And then gets it to Humphreys. He'll try a long three-pointer, and he got it. Well, it's a festival of threes here in the early going by Omari Johnson. Lob down low from Holland to Anabogu, and he throws it down. Put it in play along the right sideline. Very high. Right, well, thanks for the update. I don't want to say the name wrong all night. Boy, oh boy. Poitras down the lane with the left hand layup puts it in. Back to Omari. He'll take a three at the drop of a hat. That one's off the mark. And rebound taken by Gillen. Long pass head to Adams, and all by himself he lays it in. Rob Gray shot off by Humphreys. Tough shot short, and then Humphreys comes down with a rebound. So Gillen will bring it down the center of the floor. Kicks it to Cybert. Transition three ball. Got it. Now it's Sumner for a triple, and he got it. So Edmund Sumner's got a pair of threes here in the early going. Your year missed the NCAA tournament. Adams for three, left side hits. Five. Here's Sumner. I'll try another three, this time over Humphreys, and he hits again. And I think that gets us up to date as Adams will try a tough three, and he knocks it down. Bayox lead it. Of course, he's on a two-way contract. He and Alex Poitras are the two two ways for the Bayox is getting loose down low as Omari Johnson with a right hand slam. Here comes Rob Gray the other way. Hornbeek will try a three and he got it. Jalon Hornbeek knocks down the triple, 21-16. Now Fort Wayne leads it. It's his 15th game for here. He's made 10 starts. Barrels his way down low and he's hard to stop down there as he powers it in with the foul. Oh, and immediately Terrence Jones has an impact. Now in that game on Saturday night that got suspended, they trail by two right now as Rob Gray goes in the lane, turn around, and he got it to go. Rob Gray's first bucket. He can uh, fill it up, though. That was a career high for him in college. Jalen Adams has all day to tee it up, and he hits. Sumner working against Sword. He'll try a straight on three ball, and he hits nothing but net. The bullet pass that he snagged with one hand. Takes it to the hoop. Little floater. Oh, four times off the rim and in house here we have Wayne School Wayne Street uh, so these two cities uh, have that in common certainly as Omari Johnson knocks down a contested triple he was acquiring a trade actually earlier this year as Jones strong to the hoop gets the foul and the bucket as Traven Thibodeau picks up his second foul holding shot clock at five left hand dribble drive down the lane and he fires it home with the right hand look out below on that one and a Bogu back in the game for Fort Wayne as Preston works against Hornbeek, driving in from the right side. Tough shot, and he banked it in. Long pass, though, stolen by Gray, who threw it right to Lumpkin. Quick ball moving as it works all the way around the horn. Preston will try another three, and this time he hits it. As if nothing happened, bing, bang, boom, and they get the jumper in the court. 33-31, and a Bogu knocks down the jumper. Apparently that was just a two that Preston made at the other end, at least as of now. They'll probably check that later. As Gillen goes in, his layup rejected by Anna Bogu. Bayhawks bench calling for a goaltend, didn't get it. Here's Hornbeek firing across court to Gray. He'll jack up a three-pointer, and he got it. Long pass ahead. Gray beat the pack, got away from Seibert, and laid it in. Well, a nice mentioned earlier, Gray can fill it up. He's got ten points now off the bench. Five-point lead for the end. Seibert, tough shot off glass. He puts it in. Uh, it's his first bucket of the evening, but cherry picking at the other end is Jordan Seibert for the two-hand slam. Terrence Jones left alone up top, will try the three, and he nails it. Jalen Adams tries a quick three. That's off the Oh, Alex Poitras hit the follow slam. Taken by Jordan Seibert of Erie. Gillen bounce pass to the streaking Humphreys, and he puts it in. Sunday afternoon, that'll be a uh, game against the Wisconsin Herd at 3 o'clock. As down low, Thibodeau gets loose and he slams it home. It's his first bucket off the bench to Jalen Adams. Adams works his way down the lane and somehow nestled it in over the front of the rim. Jones working on Omari Johnson, backs him down to the block and powers it in off the glass. Kind of hard to stop that kind of action. He's got 14. Go up top. 
Sumner drives down the lane and puts it in off the glass. Now with 15 points, Bayhawks lead cut to three. Here's Poitras barreling down the lane. Oh, somehow he flicked that one in out of control. To Gray, comes around the top of the key over Jones and he knocks down the mid-range jumper. Spins down the lane and dishes to Adams. Three ball, left wing hits. 19 now for Jalen Adams. He's got four three-pointers. Have their largest lead at six. Here's Sumner at the other end, cashing in from 17 feet. 54-50, Erie on top. Gillen kicks it up top. Jones left totally all alone. 4-3, and he hits. Win this jump ball. But here he has it, and there's a long pass from Cyber to head to Poitras against Hollins one-on-one. -on -one. He jams it with the right hand. Gillen, oh, bounce pass backwards to the trailer. Jones, he lays it in with the offhand. Cyber got a piece of it and stole it. Scoops it ahead to Adams. Adams right to the rim, lays it in with the left hand. Gray thought about the three, instead bounces it down to Thibodeau, who got around Poitras and jams it with both hands. Traven Thibodeau's got four points. They can go for a two for one here if they so choose. Gillen works his way into the lane with a dribble drive all alone, he lays it in. John Gillen's first points of the night. Down near the bucket, banks it no good. A rebound, Omari Johnson, he couldn't get that to go. Poked her out about five times. Terrence Jones had it, he was stripped by Sumner. Finally, Thibodeau puts it in. Largest lead six, Erie's 13, as here's John Gillen slicing his way toward the baseline. And Isaac Humphreys open for three, got it. Well, that's a good sign. He left the game limping there late in the second quarter. Long rebound out to Seibert, long pass ahead to Adams. Had to track it down though as he hit Poitras coming down the lane, he lays it in. So Alex Poitras now with 10 points. And here come the Hawks leading by 16. Jalen Adams, that's about a 35 footer and he got it. Not about the three, but drives on Anna Bogu to the rim and he lays it in. In this run, I'd have to look it up and Poitras down low, got loose and slams it home with two hands. Nice feed from Terrence Jones, chugging down the center of the floor, fakes it behind the back, feed and lays it in, what a move. On a 19 to two run as Adams picks up his, oh boy, that is one guy you do not want to draw a charge from when he's chugging at you like that as there's Sumner answering at the other end. He's got 19. 81 56 Bayhawks. Adams kicks it to Gillen for three, and he got it. John Gillen's had a very quiet night. He now has five points a couple years back, and now he's in his second year as an assistant with the Mad Ants. There's Rob Gray knocking down the jumper. Volunteers head coach got fired, so he decided to go to Houston. As here's Omari Johnson down low, puts it in. Wolf is jam on the seventh. So Jalen Adams finds Alex Poitras down the lane and he lays it in. Bonnie's Minutemen game. And of course, we're not talking uh, Bob Lanier against Dr. J here, but there's a three pointer from Omari Johnson. Or what? I don't know how the bet goes in the other direction. Step back three, Adams hits. 26 now for Jalen on the night. Jones thought about the three, goes right around Johnson, gets to the rim and lays it in. 91-65 Hawks as Gray makes a nice move and lays it in with the left hand. Four. Here's a long pass from Johnson to Sumner who gathers himself and lays it in. With East Indiana for a dozen years. Seibert into the lane, fouled, got it to go. This will be, from what it appears, their third straight loss. Seibert strong to the hoop and he laid it in. He went for the jam, it didn't get quite high enough and instead had to kind of place it in the bucket. Means the game and tonight, he hasn't been out there at all. And down low, getting a loose ball, putting it in is Edmund Sumner. Minute mark at the third quarter. Adams is gray on his back the whole way down the floor and he lays it in. 28 now for Jalen Adams in league history. So these things do happen as Sumner's 10 footer is good. 18 to two run and it took the starch out of this one. Here's an alley-oop, Poitras catches it down low and flicks it home. Poitras now with half of his 16 points in the third quarter. In the period, here he up by 20. Sumner's going off, he's gonna try a three and he nails it. Across midcourt, down the lane, gets free and lays it in with seven tenths of a second to go. Jalen Adams has 30. 
Terrence Jones, 28. Alex Poitras, 16. Here's an alley-oop, and Poitras now has 18. Yes, here's Gray, right around Poitras. Then he hits a tough leaner floating to his left as he's now got 25 points. Poitras hands it off to Gillen, who gives it back to Poitras, and somehow he caught it and slammed it home. So Hornbeek gets it in bounds, and Denzel Dyson misses three, and a Bogu with the follow puts it in. Alive here. There's a deflected pass that's stolen away by Jalen Adams. Adams will go right down the middle lane, drops it off, and Jeremy Hollowell puts it on. A jab steps. He steps back and hoists the jumper. Oh, and that's a two. Down low, Lumpkin got free, puts it in and is fouled. Denzel Dyson got there a little late, and Lumpkin has a chance at a conventional three-point play. So Sanjay Lumpkin to the line for two. Denzel Dyson in the lane, working one-on-one -on -one against Hollowell. Up and under, and he lays it in. Nice move. First field goal of the night for Denzel Dyson. Long ball fake that he's been using all night. And it's Adams who takes the three and misses it. Hornbeak with a rebound. Radion Hollins, coast to coast, lays it in. There's just four points tonight, but he's cut the lead to 15. Adams will try a straight on three, and he got it. 33 now for Jalen Adams tonight. 118 to 100. Gray at the other end can't get it to go, and it's tipped in by Anna Bogu. He's got 10. It's Gray to the bucket, lays it in. Pull it fast, but Hollowell bobbles it, puts it on the floor, and his little floater is good. And there's a three from Hornbeak, right side, and he nails it. Match their season average here. Adams, three-pointer, left side, hits again. 36 points now for Jalen Adams. Still has 28 off the bench. Here's Gray, right side, 18-footer, hits. Talking with Jalen Adams when this one ends, assuming the Bayhawks hold on and win, is Rob Gray show. It will look short, but he throws up an air ball from the corner. Hollins across the timeline, long, nice bounce pass, and Omari Johnson lays it in. 17 now for Omari Johnson's a huge lead as Poitras misses the reverse jam. Here come the Ants. Hollins against Jones is fouled and lays it in. And here come the Mad Ants. Rob Gray at the foul line, 15 footer, in and out. Rebound Hollins to Gray and he puts it in. Terrence Jones is standing and holding it between the circles, one on one now against Gray. And Gillen will fire a three from the right side and he got it with Windy City. The Bayhawks would move to within a game and a half of first place Lakeland as Terrence Jones now has 30 on the night in the Southeast Division. As Hornbeek knocks down a three from up top. His third three of the game, he's got nine. And so, Omari Johnson's gonna go uncontested to the bucket and lay it in. He's got 19, and that's going to do it as the Bayhawks dribble it out. So here he finally gets a win against Fort Wayne this season. As the Mad Ants win the season series 2-1. to one.